creating Christmas cards should be fun and easy to create that beautiful, elegant look that you, your friends, and family love. Today, I'm gonna to share my top tips on creating those beautiful, festive poinsettias the easy way. We're gonna add glitter, we're gonna add some lacquer, and have some fun using some embossing powder as well. So join me and we'll learn how to create these beautiful, festive poinsettias the easy way. Within this set, there are two sets of poinsettias to give you all the sizes. We started out with a very large festive poinsettia. In this set, you get the large and a small one plus a leaf and a berries. Then you have the small festive poinsettias which has the intermediate sizes. So you have two sizes in here plus berries and a leaf. So together, since this one is a larger poinsettias and then going down to smaller ones, I like to think of this like you have larger poinsettias to give you more real estate to add lots of fun elements to these petals. So let's get started by coloring. I'm going to be using vermilion and red geranium we used red geranium to stamp this. We're gonna start out with vermilion as the one we're coloring with. So we're gonna go ahead and I like to, for this one, start with just adding some deep red color in the center. Now, if you are a crafter and you don't have great reds for Christmas, this is a beautiful red combination that I really, really love. Now, with poinsettias, these are fun and festive, and I can't wait to show you at the very end some samples of different color variations, um, but you can even blend some like bright, vivid orange and some pinks in here, or some aqua, purple, and the sky's the limit with color combinations on poinsettias. So what I really love about these is since we have these large poinsettias, you can really get to use them as focal points on the cards. And paired with all these different sizes, you have every size you need, whether you are making large cards, smaller cards, um, keeping them simple or super elegant. So once you're finished, I go back and just cover the inside berries um, with a little bit of that red. And then we're ready to add some of the fun festive accents to this poinsettia. To get started adding these accents, you can add the lacquer, the glitter, and the embossing powder first, or you can shape it. So you'll see that part of this leaf has already has the lacquer and the gold embossing powder, part of it doesn't. So I'm gonna go ahead and shape this, and then we are going to add the gold embossing later. So with the gold embossing and the lacquer, you're gonna go ahead and um, it's gonna be a little bit harder to get it out of the mold if you do that first, so it's totally up to you. You get to decide, so we have half and half with this so you can kind of see how that works when it comes out. So put that into your mold. What I love about this is when you're making Christmas cards, this shapes it for you so you don't have to shape it um, by hand, which really speeds up that process and allows you to get those flowers done in a flash. So while that's going through, I'm just gonna show some more accents with this. Um, so here is the really large one paired with two layers and then we have a gold stamped one in the base. We're gonna use that at the very base of the flower we're creating today. Um, all the way down to different variations and combinations that you can use to put these together. So um, when this comes out, um, you can see if those petals just come out. If it's a little bit larger, it might be a little bit easier um, than if you're doing the really small ones. So you can experiment which works the best for you. Um, once that is shaped, do you see that beautiful shaped dimension? It does the same thing for the leaves. The leaves were just stamped on green cardstock and embossed with gold. You could do the same with the flowers on red cardstock if you wanted to. To add the gold accents, I just used some Dries Clear Glue on a yellow sponge, so just make sure you have plenty of glue. And then you can go ahead and add some of that glue just around the outer edges of your poinsettia leaf. Just go ahead and do that. You can add as much or as little as you like. Once that's done, I just go ahead and dip those tips into my gold embossing powder. And you'll do that on every tip. Some of these already are completed. Um, once that's done, you'll just take your heat embossing tool 
and you'll just heat that until it's melted and once that's all done you can move on to adding your lacquer and glitter if you didn't add the lacquer on all of the leaves yet. To add that extra shine I went back and covered the entire poinsettia with lacquer. To do that if you haven't used crystal lacquer before, it is a 3D lacquer. I like to think about it like a clear uh, fingernail polish. Very easy to apply if you want to sponge it on. I just use one of our very cheap yellow sponges and I just go over the entire flower. Now this will make that that color of red just becomes even more vibrant. It gives a soft, shimmery, kind of like glossy texture. Um, and I like to make sure I have plenty on the tips because I'm going to go back and sprinkle a little bit of glitter over the top since this is wet. So you'll do that on each petal. We'll come back at our little tidy tray and sprinkle just a little bit of lion's mane glitter. That's a very pretty color for Christmas. And I'll do that on the tips of the poinsettia. If you wanted to do it over the entire poinsettia, you could too. It's totally up to you on how much glitter you want to add to this. Um, and then that just finishes it up and it's ready to be layered together. To layer these together, I like to put both of my large stamped ones that have been stamped on the white cardstock onto my shaping mat and just press down in the center to get a little bit more shaping in there. I'll take one set of those berries, flip them stamp side down and just press on the back. Now these berries, and the last layer of these poinsettias were stamped on the gold luxe cardstock and the gold embossing powder was used to heat emboss that so it gives it a very elegant look. So we're going to use that as the base. Go ahead and I did not shape this at all. This will remain flat so it's just an anchor for our flower that's going on top. It just adds a really delicate and elegant touch on the base of your flower. So you'll go ahead, layer that on top. If you wanted to just do one stamped layer on cardstock and one of the gold layers, that's how it would look. So you have lots of options with this. Um, it's such a beautiful flower. And again, the reason that you can add so many elements, so many beautiful touches is the size and the um, petals are larger. So it really allows you to create those really luxe, elegant poinsettias. So once you're finished, you can go ahead. I do like to press this down a little bit in the center to kind of bring those berries up. You could layer more berries in the center if you wanted to, totally up to you. Um, but you'll just pop that in. I will use my stylus tool to just kind of press that into, sh into position. And you have that one of a kind poinsettia it's just super elegant for your Christmas cards. There are so many beautiful ways that you can add these poinsettias to your Christmas cards from elegant to simple. So with this one, there's many different decorative dies that we've used in the background. And what I really want you to notice is not only do we have these beautiful poinsettias, but there's lots of different centers. You can use the berries that come with it. And then we have those background accent pieces. There is one more set within this collection called the Holly Berry Spray that will bring in the foliage for great background pieces when you are creating with it. I like to stamp and emboss them in gold. You can do them in different color combinations to really bring that together. So once again, when you pair it with the beautiful background papers from the festive poinsettia collection, you have those one of a kind masterpieces. So I like to use this for the super elegant cards or you can keep it very simple and create those quick and easy poinsettias for more simple projects. So this one was just stamped gold on gold. So such a beautiful, elegant touch. Here's one that's like bring on the poinsettias. So here's a cluster of our wired stamens in the middle paired with some beautiful background accents. So again, you'll want to get the large and small festive poinsettias so you have all the sizes to pull together. Now, what I love about this poinsettias is you can do many different color combinations. Here the backgrounds were stamped in blue, paired with silver, and then added that aqua colored poinsettia stamped and embossed in silver as well. Here's one done in pink, and this is a beautiful happy birthday card. So if you have a friend that is having a birthday during the holiday season, you can totally switch everything up and do something fun with that. Here's another one that's kind of a pinkish red. Here's one that I did on a slimline card with a blue, just a simple Merry Christmas. 
adding those silver and kind of blue green accents in the background. Use our fun stamens for fillers. Um, here's another one I absolutely love how this one comes together with a bright kind of orange and then that kind of like that pinkish red paired with these really big stamens in the middle. Such an elegant way to pull these together. These were the stamens we launched with the calla lilies. So I love how those pair together with the festive poinsettias. And here's another one. Isn't this just stunning with kind of that beige and then the blue and then these pearl centers. So I'm sure that your mind is just swimming with all these beautiful ideas and what you can create. This is this beautiful vase filled with those accents. Now, if you don't have these yet and you receive them and you're like, wait, I wanna know where I can find these samples, all you need to do is just plug in the name of a stamp or the die that you have in our search box. It'll bring up the image of that stamp and die and then you'll see all the samples we created with that. Last but not least, it's the paper collection. This is the hero of pulling all those projects together so you can use those as a background. Now, if you're more the girl that's simple, you can just cut these apart, add one dimensional poinsettias on top and you have those quick Christmas cards. You can make tons and tons of Christmas cards very quickly by just cutting these sentiments apart, adding one or two poinsettias and you are done. Using these tips and techniques will allow you to recreate these beautiful festive poinsettias the easy way. If you don't have this collection yet, I've added the links below for quick and easy ordering. And hey, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on our upcoming videos. Thank you so much for joining me today. We'll see you next time. Bye.